Hi, this is Josh Nordic from Gene Sports Shop in Perm, Minnesota, and also a Perm Sportsman's Club member. I'm sitting here at the Perm Sportsman's Club, and I'm going to show you four techniques for catching walleyes that I think you should try this summer. The first technique is a relatively new technique, um, and it is when you use a Rapala jigging wrap, which I have here. Um, this is a size 7, and it is in the color Parrot, which is my favorite size and my favorite color. Um, this lure was originally made for ice fishing, but the past several years has been very successful, um, not only in the winter, but also in the summer. Um, what you're going to use for a rod for this is either a medium light or a medium action, and I prefer using braided line for this. I feel it's a little more sensitive and the less stretch allows you to get more fish to the boat. And what you're going to do with this presentation is drop it to the bottom and fish it a lot like a jig and minnow. So when you drop it to the bottom, you're going to jig the, the lure, and when you jig it, this plastic wings are going to glide the bait. So every time it touches the bottom, you're going to jig that bait, and that's when the fish are going to bite. And you can use this presentation on any mid-lake structure, um, especially mid-lake humps or shoreline breaks. My second presentation I'm going to talk about is snap jigging or rip jigging. And this is a fairly simple technique, but extremely effective. All you're going to do is tie an eighth ounce jig or even a sixteenth ounce jig onto the end of your line. I like using a medium action rod, and I also like using braid for this technique. And what you're going to do with this presentation is hook either a shiner or any other minnow or a plastic minnow onto this jig, and you're going to cast it behind the boat as far as you can and back troll roughly 0.8 miles an hour. And what you're going to do is you're going to make long sweeps with your rod, and when you do that, the jig is going to fly up and then fall. And when you jig it again, it'll fly up and fall. And when it falls is when you're going to get the bites. And the best depth to use this presentation is anywhere between four and eight feet. My third technique is one of my favorite techniques for a couple different reasons, and that's crankbaiting. Right here I have a Rapala Shad Wrap in a size five. And a couple of the reasons I like this is, the first reason is it's extremely easy. All you're going to do is use a medium action rod, preferably in a bait caster style. Um, a spinning will work, but bait caster works a little bit better. So what you're going to do is put the boat in gear, go about two and a half miles an hour, and you're going to let out 100 to 150 yards of line. And when you are driving the boat two and a half miles an hour, this lip, this crank here will be catching the water and it'll make the lure swim like a, like a bait fish. So the reason I like it is it's extremely easy to do. There's not much technique to it. Um, and because of that, you can bring kids or, or people who haven't fished much or at all before. And basically all they have to do is hold on to the rod. And when they get a bite, they'll feel it. So it's extremely easy for newcomers to, to learn this technique. And the second reason I like it is because since you're driving two and a half miles an hour, you can cover a lot of ground on the lake. So especially if you're fishing a lake you haven't fished before, um, it's extremely effective to use this technique to try to figure out where the fish might be. And I also like it because since it looks just like a minnow, you, not only will you catch walleyes, but you can also catch northerns, bass, crappies, and sunnies. So not only limited to walleyes, but also catch pretty much any fish that swims. My fourth and final technique to use this summer is the tried and true Lindy Rig. Um, this is simply a hook line sinker technique. Um, and what you're going to use for a rod is preferably a medium light action rod. Um, that's the most sensitive for this technique. And you're going to tie a sinker to your main line. Right here I have a half ounce sinker. You can use smaller or bigger depending on the wind or the depth. Then you're going to do a barrel swivel and anywhere from four to six feet more or less depending on the situation of line and then just tie a simple hook on here. So this is a size two hook. This would be used for um, a big red tail or any minnow. You can also use a smaller hook um, and put either a night crawler or a leech on there. And you're going to fish this on mid-lake structure, humps, shorelines, or weed lines. Um, and this technique really does good in July and August, when in the dog days of summer. And sometimes you just need a lively minnow or a big, fat, juicy leech to entice the bite. So these four presentations I went over today are four presentations I'll have in my boat all spring and into the summer. And I encourage you to try them this summer, too. As we get close to the opening of fishing and into the early months of summer, I recommend trying these. I also encourage you to check out Perm Sportsman's Club.